I enjoyed very much the lunches over there in the Louvre, fantastic, and I enjoyed very much the lunches here. Thank you very much. The only thing, what I found a bit sad is that after six, there was nothing to eat here. So I kept on being starved in the evening. And then stuff appeared at the party, but there was this gap, and I was so sad that you guys didn't serve us anything. <laughs> I mean, we have been aware of this situation for quite a while and or even before the festival and there were like options and lots of options needed for a lot of things and whatever. That's why we tried to do our best. We, this is not a place which has this infrastructure for selling food for, you know, 24-7 when it's needed, you know. It, it's, no, not that kind of place. it's not that kind of place. I'm sorry, but it, no, know, no, when you come to a place like this, you have... You have to kind of have a bit lower expectations. I'm happy for the choice of the location. I think this year it worked very well regarding the thematics and also it's a very pleasant space to socialize and hang around. And it seems to and the nature around is somehow naturally close to the all the discussions that have been going over here. So. <laughs> I would like to add to this that I think that buildings, <laughs> <laughs> buildings tend to absorb the things that have been happening in there. And so I think this being, having been a mental hospital, has of course absorbed all this stuff that has happened here. And I feel that Pixelate was almost like a ritual to cleanse this out and to transform it into something else. Um, I just wanted to first congratulate you and thank you for the all this amazing time. And I wanted to also say that for me this has been a very unique event in the world of, I, th I know it's not anymore a festival of digital arts, but it has shifted into something that is much more holistic and inclusive, and that's a good thing. And I think that in many of the festivals that I've been in the world, uh, this is a, a transition that we individually leave as uh, digital artists, that we find that the medium is not enough for ourselves, and then in a way it's negative for what we are trying to convey. And I think that this festival has matured that way into becoming something else than a digital arts festival. And I really appreciate that and congratulate you. I think all the other things that are happening here and the inter multidisciplinary and even the non-scientific aspect of it on acceptance of other bodies of knowledge is wonderful. I really want to congratulate you and thank you for that. Access remains probably the highlight of the year for me and the main reason I live in Helsinki, so thank you all. <laughs> for me it's always quite difficult to explain what this picture like. And actually this I, I reflect many people's comments over the years that somehow it's very difficult to say actually what it is, right? Uh, but the time that's spent together and the experience that people have together, it's quite an intimate festival. So in that sense it's not like some of the larger scale <coughs> events in other places. Uh, the fact that it's sort of still undescribable, but you just want to come here, is one of the pleasures that I have, at least, uh, by being regularly involved. I was wondering, you know, how can we promote the, um, the festival to the outside? Because um, <laughs> they're coming here for the first time, they're coming in and out, and it seems like a social, uh, like a real opportunity for them. Also, is it is it meant to be to get to know people? Is it for artists to get to know other artists, or is it to start collaborating together? So it seems like um, there's a lot of opportunity here to kind of spread something that uh, uses the festival as its hub and to to, um, to make that grow also to other, especially because you uh, mentioned that it was you know many people from different uh, backgrounds that are coming together. So how, you know, how can, how can we, what's the message that the organizer would like us to spread? <laughs> can I answer that? <laughs> uh, I, I think this is, a, this is a super difficult question because, I mean, it is not, like Andrew said, it's not always been very clear what it is, and I think I tried to formulate some of those problematics in, in the beginning also. So it's, um, it's a kind of a mixture, we communicate, we try to communicate a lot to outside also, and we try to open up processes, but also we try to keep them kind of loose, and they're not, when they are loose, they're not always so easily, of oh, what is it, you know, like, and it's, it's more difficult for a larger, you know, like the larger organs to sometimes approach. So this is, a, this is definitely a, like a, um, 
think has been a, an issue for, for us for a long time. And I don't know what would be the best method. I think the word of mouth, could you just uh, mention that? Or did I hear that from somewhere? But the word of mouth is, is very good. And, uh, and yeah, I think uh, if you, yeah, if you just, you know, talk about it and talk to something about people and, you know, or all, all kinds of people, and every more people will know about it. And, and it has been just one last thing. We have had about three or four years, uh, no, four years since the last uh, event was in, in, in Kiev, which was kind of centralized one festival. So, uh, and last year we had a festival which was decentralized, it was like very dispersed around the city, but it was really interesting. But before that, we've been on like these island trips and etc. So, we are also like, you know, it's, it's been years of you know, experimenting with formats, forms and, and places. So it has, um, it's not, it hasn't been so uh, easily accessible in, in those years for certain type of and so and that is kind of like we are coming, things go in waves, so you know, it's, uh, it's now we're, you know, in, in some part of the way. Right? Yeah. Really now, over, since 2004, 2012 and now, there's something very consistent about it, and I was trying to describe it to Andrew, and it's a bit like the new pixelate takes place in between all of the events. There's the framework of the festival message, there's the program and everything else, but the real pleasure of pixelate is, is, the, is the kind of cement that puts all those things together, whether it's social and uh, all discursive, uh, for me it's a stress, or how that's the only way I can describe it, but it's, it's something very complex and not easily made, so it's a real tribute to you to be able to engineer that consistently, because it's, it's, always, it's always like that, so that's an amazing thing. So uh, in terms of the audience, uh, I guess I've been thinking about uh, the audience and what they want to see, It's a person there asks if you want the world to come or keep it more intimate. I, I think personally I would wish that it's not about the world, the world comes, but the worlds, like the, in a rural, the worlds are coming here and this is kind of an approach. And so it's, I think it's a bit dangerous to think about as the, there is this big audience that needs to be lured here. But I think it's a good to have these small worlds, different kind of uh, interests colliding here. And I think that's pretty much enough for me. Uh, talking about like uh, how we spread the word about the festival, it's like also dependent what kind of scale you want to achieve. Because you can invite here one million people, but they want to fit here. So then it's like, I think that this amount of public is perfect for this kind of venue. So I don't see the reason why like, uh, we should, like, for this format of the festival, uh, like have more public. I thought that it's quite suitable. And the secondary, uh, the, I think that you mentioned that previous versions of the festival were not accessible. No, I think no, that no, this... The, the, the camps and the kind of islands, and, you know, like Yeah, yeah, like exactly, I direct that. I think it's, to me it's not valid, because I think that this festival, last year festival and camps were totally different stories. And their aim was to, to, to kind of create this bubble. And the aim of this festival is different. And it's all good. But therefore, like, the comparison is like, yes. it's just, yes, not Actually, possible. Actually, I wasn't comparing. It's pixelate. And uh, I'm, I'm really attracted by the diversity of opinions that there are yeah, among the members. And the fact that it's a continuous struggle and uh, verbal fight, but positive, I consider it positive. Like, Mari and Petri, to pull this out, they had literally to fight with and against different opinions and uh, this is the process how it goes, it seems. But I really appreciate that 
each opinion is taken for what it is and there is no attempt to homogenize the opinions. This is something that I consider quite healthy. And it was a fairly, uh, in, in retrospect, a life-changing weekend. And I went to the wrap-up meeting, and was, I, I expressed a lot of the things that some of the newer people were saying here that I was very confused. I said, I don't, this was great, but I don't really understand, like, why anybody would know what to do here, or how to come to this. And, and this was under the, the Yuha Huskinen regime, and Yuha said, um, <laughs> his answer was, yeah, well, uh, you know, like, uh, people come to Pixel, like, like, they come here because, like, they know what they're getting into, and we're not really so focused on making it super accessible to people. And I thought, like, that's kind of weird, but I kept coming and being involved, and like five years later, I actually ran the festival. So I don't think it's like, it's a very easy, um, if you have the right mentality for these kind of things, which everyone in this room obviously does, because of the fact that you're here, then I think um, it's, it suits us. You know, it's like we're the, we have made the philosophical choice to get our hands dirty in these kind of things. So it would be great if we could like, put all this effort into making it like really, really understandable to people, but at the most people get like five or 10% more people who, it might be a really good experience for them, but I don't know that it's going to create these like deep, long-lasting connections. I wanted to kind of continue with what John said. I think that it's like, if you feel sympathy to somebody or you are in love, it's also very hard to say why you have this emotion. Yeah. But you just feel like uh, some connection and you just go for it. And more you will try to like justify it, then I don't think that your connection will develop through that. I think that you, you can even like through this logical way of thinking kind of yeah, put it down. It's culturally shifting, not this culture. This is we're we're kind of thinking in a slight different way. And people, what are the skill set that people are using here, the way people think in terms of networks and different ways of working, it isn't universal. It isn't that. It isn't so common. It's getting and so things are changing, and I think that as the world outside changes, then the way people interact with what they are interested in and how they mm. understand it will. Change. But isn't isn't the world ready for the universal church of blues and guitar to rise on to jump into no. self awareness? I mean, no. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not. I, this, this kind of networking thing is is growing and spreading in so many places simultaneously. There's got to be communities that are analogs to this in many places that some of you already know about. And instead of some kind of intentional growing of some kind of audience, which this isn't about, maybe those, these nodes are, are <coughs> close to hooking up together spontaneously. Yes. For this is the first time I'm uh, we are here. And first I thought it would be like, uh, just be a nun of Venice. Wow, really, What I like is that uh, it, it, about contamination, and that's why it's, it's great. It's, it's here in the hospital, and I think we show that not to, to wear any preservatives, mind preservatives, and that, uh, that contagious to each other. And uh, we always, as as as, uh, as a visual artists, we always like to look at these nerds sitting there in front of their computer and say, like they only see this one thing. And, but it's a great thing to mix everything, to, to contaminate each other and to keep on contaminating each other and to, to spread out and, and, and not like think in a narrow box. So I'm just very grateful to be here. We are very grateful. I will really insist on not being on the last two days. <laughs> and that's a, that's a, a tip for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so there should not be last two days. Skip the last two days. Skip okay. the chocolate of the program. <laughs> we keep that in mind. So I was here for two weeks, not the last two days, <laughs> to make sure that I have, you know, nothing to do during the festival. But then I also, I felt a bit that I didn't see so much of it. And I think a lot of people will agree now, oh, it's really nice, this multidisciplinarity and the integration of all everything. And But then why do we have a schedule that looks like a festival with parallel workshops and all that stuff and condensed on three, four days if our goal is something else? Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing that's negotiating the goal. Um, it's like we also wanted to have a program that can be approached by an audience that hasn't been in this, let's say, three, last, three four last years of Pixie Day, 
where there has been no program. And it, it, it was a kind of a, you know, an outreach, you know, to to get some people in who might have not been in this in this circle of influence for a while. And uh, you know, then it can, I, I think I'm, I'm starting to think that this should kind of organically fall in, in different directions. That's why when some you know some of you were asking like, what is the message? Said. It, there is no one message. There is, you know, there are different messages at different times, at different years. It changes in my experience, but I think I'm the only one really outside of it. Mm -hmm. I actually came here and I was joking with Miles, I was like, I don't know even how I ended up here. <laughs> <laughs> so I came just to see one uh, perform one, Which one, one thing. Okay. And then I ended up being fascinated and like I've been here the whole weekend. <laughs> so, That's beautiful. Yeah, and I had the idea because I heard from Pixar, from Pixar, uh, from Kiyashima. Mm -hmm. So to me it was a more, much more digital. I didn't go, but what I, what I saw, what I heard, so I didn't go. And Kiyashima is more digital. Oh yeah, this year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And here, with the team, in the space, I got immediately the perception that even I need to go to the other one, that uh, um, the place and team and how it was almost experiment, experimental mm -hmm. and with the people that were coming, that it was making it up and it was going. So if I see that uh, fluidity of uh, changing and not keeping in one, uh, one specific uh, line or, or, or being too much limited in, in that part. Like you don't want to be limited, but I just think of these certain things that can be boxing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a this this is a, this is the this is the tough negotiation internally, like between the you know the structure and the, the, the looseness of, of emerging things. And I think this is this is the what fix it should be and <laughs> has to be. But yeah. Okay. Good. Are we really just talking about the festival? Because we had a, a really amazing, chaotic, messy event the other night about um, talking about how we possibly can introduce empathy into structures more. We, we didn't really get to that, except we learned many other things that night. <laughs> but over the last couple of days, I've, I've been thinking quite a lot about empathy, but not so much empathy, but these sort of um, intangible experiences we have, the, the sort of human interaction, the warmth, the intimacy, whatever it is that we've been exchanging, not just now, but in Pixel Lake and other events years past. And I think I'm actually starting to realize that the opposite is maybe the goal, is that we should try to get the structures out of empathy. That when these sort of fuzzy, um, in, intangible sensations and interactions start to become codified and start to become structured, then they turn into dogmas and they turn into belief systems. And that's where um, you get into maybe like crazy like new age beliefs or religions and things like that. And I guess um, in a way I might actually leave this festival sort of um, running away from the topic a little bit. That the best interface for empathy is actually to tear down any sort of interface and kind of you that? to tear down any attempt to build an interface or a rule set and to maybe give yourself to the the, the flow, the emotion, the, the true essence of what maybe makes us humans and not interfaces in machines.